All right, we're back. Oh man, so had the winter storm come through. That was pretty wild. I think you might've seen us shooting the snowblower videos. After that winter storm came through, we had, a, I believe a derecho came through. Wind blew so hard. Side, a couple pieces of piece, uh, siding on that house uh, came up. They were pounding siding back on that house. So I don't know how fast the wind was going up here. Probably fast enough to blow wood siding off houses or like, like lifted it. Uh, floor joists, uh, the floor system was supposed to be delivered this morning. Uh, it's, it's three o'clock and there's no floor system here. So boss man's on the phone. I went to a specialty lumber distributor to get select structural 16s and uh, well, we wanted 18s. We only know we, there, apparently there's no 18 foot two by tens in the whole tri-state area. So I have to go to 20s over here. Throw the box sills up, which is an art. I'm sure some of you guys probably never seen solid wood box sills before. You just slap the old engineer stuff down and call it a day, right? But no, we're fancy. We use real wood so we can match crowns. Get it all nice. Yeah. So this gets kind of so you can kind of start seeing now. This is poured concrete to there. There'll be another floor uh, joist here, but it's going to be a green treat because the dirt's going to go up to it after we put a waterproof barrier up against it. So that has to be a green treat through here. Because this is a wood framed wall. Like I said, boss man be calling. We decided just to throw this one in here just to make flooring because it doesn't really need a floor joist there. But like for some reason, if the layout on the floor was weird or whatever, so we're covered. There's also be another floor joist here real close. Just a full send. Otherwise, originally it was just going to end here and we bring it around. But since we actually didn't have the right wood here to be working with, this is all the wood left over from the plank system. I mean, it was good wood. Actually, what we're doing is finding the less good wood <laughs> used on the box hill because there's not a lot of span in a box hill, if you know what I mean. I.e. no span. Except for right there, I guess technically there's a little span, but there's a good board there. Anyways. So yeah, I am sitting here waiting for lumber now. That's it. There's nothing else for me to do. These box sills aren't solid wood. These are going to be filled in because we want to get as much of the floor joist on here as possible since the concrete technically is only like right there. If I put a full box sill, it's just, yeah, we're not doing that. I'm going to get a verdict here. Boss man's coming out angry. Had to shim some stuff up a little bit. What's the verdict, boss man? They promise? All right, we're, but they think they're coming today or they have a hard time finding good wood. Just do your thing. All right, he don't want, he don't want to put anybody on blast. So these are all in. I mean, the way, like, there was just like a knob there. So I'm already like milling out wood straight, you know, it's like uh, the way the world is. Like you can't even get a wood. I mean, I had a, I had a, a two by, well, it's this one right here. That box though, right there was nine and a half inches wide. Everything else is nine and a quarter. So I had to rip it by hand. I, I mean, I yeah, just whatever. So anyways, that derecho came through and so much rain came down with it. You can see we got washout again. I mean, look at this. That's a new, those brand new goalies right there. Brand new goalies. We came up here that night at about 8.30. And this, this, this basement was flooded. It was full. It was so full of water, the water was coming out the doors. And of course, you know, in the utility room, the floors, you know, dropped, you know, three, four inches, whatever, and for the floor drain, and that was full. So we were out here with these squeegees. I mean, it's still in. Oh, that's got an opportunity there. I'm trying to get this ice. I mean, we still have ice in here. Danger. Oh, yeah, look at that, kids. Get out of here, ice. Find a new home. So we played around out here. We got here. It was still like, because it was really, that, that derecho was fueled by the hot weather. It was like 70 degrees here that day. By the time we came up that night, it was still like upper 50s. Like I think it was 57 when we got here. And uh, I don't know how long we were here for, hours or something like that. I can't remember. All of a sudden, boom, the temperature dropped like 20 degrees. Uh started snowing and hailing and sleeting and like i was just wearing jeans and a sweatshirt and i just told boss man i was like this is as good as it's gonna get buddy we are not gonna i'm not gonna get this spick and span and the weather changed so quick we were going 
went through the we went through the window over here because we thought it'd be, well, it was muddy because it rained. And we crawled out that window. It was like World War III was going on up up top, man. It was like I was screaming in pain. The wind was blowing so hard, just pelting me with ice. Just like ah, it was nuts. It was absolutely nuts. I guess it doesn't super help that unfortunately the guy that laid the concrete couldn't quite figure out how to get it like I don't know level and flat. So we have like all these like. Like that whole edge is like super low, so the water kept draining back into there, and that's like literally the farthest point to get out of here. So it was like shit like that. And what's really weird is like he claimed he was here till 5 a.m. and he couldn't get this part right. It's just like whatever, dude. I mean, I'm not gonna say he was hanging out with his other girlfriend, not his living girlfriend, but I'm pretty sure that's what he was doing till 5 a.m. I think he was hanging out with his other girlfriend because his girlfriend thought he was here working, but. It looked like it was working very much to me, but whatever. So that's where we're at. As soon as they show up, we'll just plink, 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 start plinking and plunking. The fact that he wants to talk to me off camera makes me think that, uh, yeah, we've got some bad news coming if I had to guess. Whatever. I think that's going to be about the end of this. I just, you know, in case well, inquiring minds want to know what I'm doing, it's like I'm kind of waiting around for a fucking car to show up. Looks like he's cleaning up, but yeah. So there we go. Yeah, I'll just walk back. Yeah, put the camera away anyways. Need something to admire. You can criticize or complain or whatever. You're doing it wrong. I don't know if we explain, but the part this part here, the house actually comes out on the cantilever. It's gonna be all sorts of crazy. With, this is 12 on centers here with a double coming out, carrying. And yeah, it's gonna be elaborate. It's gonna be elaborate. If you're thinking trailer, it's not going to be a trailer, kids. I can promise you that. All right. Stay safe. Damn, it's cold out today.